Hi, I'm John Varela, and I represent South County on the Valley Water Board of Directors. Our agency has been working hard to rebuild Anderson Dam to ensure public safety and have it once again serve our county's largest drinking water reservoir. We produced this video to provide you a close-up look at the amazing work being done at Anderson Dam. I hope you enjoy the tour. Hi, I'm Ryan McCarter. I'm the Deputy Operating Officer of the Dam Safety and Capital Delivery Division here at Valley Water. Here we are at the Anderson Dam Tunnel Project. So this is stage one of the Anderson Dam Seismic Retrofit Project. The first thing we need to do is build a tunnel so that we have a diversion system during construction of the dam so we can move water from the reservoir around the dam and out into Coyote Creek. So what we're doing now is excavating a tunnel that's 1,700 feet long. It's about 20 foot in diameter. And we're using conventional excavation methods and a machine that can grind the rock and move the material out. And when the rock gets too hard, we also use explosives to fracture the rock and remove that material. So this is a very challenging rock. We're going through two different main rock formations, the Santa Clara Formation and the San Franciscan Melange. And there's also shear zones in between, so there's a lot of variability in the rock from very hard rock to very soft materials that can really run into the tunnel and uh, cause a lot of support issues as we're going. So there's been a lot of different challenges, but we've been using a lot of different engineering solutions, and we have a pretty big tool belt of different methods we can use to get through the material. Behind me now is a, a drill jumbo. It's got two different arms that can drill two holes at the same time, and we use that to drill the holes to place the explosives to blast the face of the tunnel, fracture that rock, and then excavate it out. Behind me, we have the reservoir that's drained down to as low as we can get it, or Deadpool. And what we're doing right now is dredging and removing material from the base of the reservoir so that we can prepare for the tunnel to come through 30 feet below the water surface you see here. Behind me, below, we have the diversion outlet structure, which is a structure that will control the water flows that come out of the new tunnel and dissipate that energy and also have the, the valves that control the release of that water as it goes into Coyote Creek. It was built in 1950. It stands about 210 feet tall at its largest point, and it holds back the Coyote Creek watershed and collects water as rain falls in that watershed, and it stores up to 90,000 acre feet of water. In the late 1980s, upgrades were made to add a pipeline that connects to Anderson Dam that can move imported water in and out of Anderson Reservoir, which makes it a very important asset to our water supply system because we can store water here and send it into the county and use as our water supply. The full Anderson Dam Seismic Retrofit project is scheduled to start construction in late 2025 and complete that project by 2032. So what we have to do with this dam is basically bring the whole embankment down and replace it. There are liquefiable materials at the bottom of the dam that could slide in a seismic event, which could cause slumping of the dam and eventual overtopping if the reservoir was full at that time or if there was a major storm. So what we need to do is take down this whole entire dam and replace it step by step to current safety standards. So the construction will take about six years to complete the full retrofit of the dam embankment itself by taking it down and replacing it. But there's also major work going on with the replacement of the emergency spillway, which is a massive concrete structure, as well as the inlet and outlet works, or the pipes that we use to move water from the reservoir out into the county and into Coyote Creek. So there will be hundreds of workers, lots of large machinery, processing of dirt and concrete materials, and a lot of work going on during that period.